Uh, welcome back. I hope you are enjoying my lecture. Uh, now we will discuss uh, another topic: uh, transformer production buckles relay. Uh, in the field of electrical power distribution and transmission, a buckle relay is a safety device mounted on transformer oil filled power transformer and reactors equipped with an external overheat oil reservoir. is called as a conservator so buckle ray is installed this is the main tank you can see this big tank is a main tank this small tank is named as conservator tank and uh, buckle ray is installed in between this this is the basically symbol of buckle ray again this is the actual real picture of the transformer here you can see the buckle will uh, shape will be looking like this this is again the conservator this is the main body of the transformer one question you could ask why we need conservator here uh the answer is uh, if uh, because the oil uh, also uh, have ex expand and contract as heat increases or decreases so this uh, is this place provide uh, some buffer or some some margin to oil to expand or contract so that's why we have conservator here okay next what are protection features in a buckles relay a buckles relay protects transformer from following condition short circuit core laminations short circuit between phase or earth or heating of transformer winding oil leakage from main tank air inlet okay so basically these are the functions buckles relay principle is whenever some gases are evolved produce in the transformer or some air is coming because from outside you know, from unknown source this air is trapped inside the buckle so buckle is operating based on it so any fault in transformer it will produce some heat and this heat will convert to decompose the oil and this gas will be from main tank from this main tank this gas will produce bubbles will produce bubble will come up naturally because they are less in weight through this pipe they will come here and this you can see here a level of the buckle is little bit up so this will be trapped here it will come a bubble for example bubble is coming here it's coming here in the middle again it will go on the top it will trap here and then again oil is going to upside so this is the basically principle of the buckle okay the gas is trapped inside the buckle so how you can diagnose this gas how you can diagnose the fault and uh, uh, in the gas sample of gas trapped in the buckle relay are collected on the occurrence of a fault the color of gas collected indicates the type of fault as follows so what you have to do when the uh, buckles operate you can uh, there are some special equipment by which you can collect the gas in it and you can also send it to the lab but if you don't have a lab facility or if you want to test it on site you have to burn this gas so if whitish color of the you see, you see the color of the flame white it is caused by electric arcing in the contact with the paper cotton and silk If you see yellowish gas, it is caused by wood and carbon uh, cardboard. So it is there are a lot of wood inside the transformer. If you see the grayish gas, it is caused by breakdown of magnetic circuit. If you see the black gas, it is caused by free arcing in the oil. So these are this is how you can diagnose. Principle of the operation of buckle relay. So we have discussed little and we will discuss now in detail with diagrams how buckle relay is operating. In case of slight fault, gas passes from main tank to the conservator, get trapped in the relay. The oil level lower slightly so as the upper float. This operate the alarm contact. The same thing shall happen if free gases are present in the main tank. Uh, one thing is, for example, uh, when transformer installed in the, in the start, and dehydration is done, so there is settlement time. 
so uh, there is gas uh, uh, trapped in the uh, gas bubble trap in, in the transformer during dehydration it will take some time to release this gas and buckles may operate so but if transformer is uh, in function long time then if buckle operate then it uh, you have to also see what's the reason in case of several faults such as oil leakage or heating of the core winding oil level in the <coughs> relay and conservator fall uh, conservator fails continuously eventually the buckle relay connecting pipe and the conservator are impeded and the lower float which is operated this activates the trip contact and the transformer is disconnected from the supply okay this is another case for example if in in this case if there is a very severe fault first we have seen uh, the light fault what will happen there are two contact in the in the buckle relay one contact will operate in case of light fault another contact uh, will will uh, in in case of light fault also alarm will be initiated another contact is will will operate when there is a heavy fault so heavy oil will flow and with this pressure uh, the trip uh, transformer trip uh, trip will operate so we will again discuss with diagram in our next slide in case of short circuit the gas generation is violent and causes oil rush from main tank to the conservator tank this lower the flare fitted to the lower float and activates the trip contacts thereby isolating input supply to transformer avoiding severe fault so this is again uh, i am explaining there could be three uh, reasons by which tripping can occur if the oil level is so low that it's it's it's, it's dropped below the uh, buckle it will trip because of uh, drainage of oil or anything if there is a, a small fault and it's it's keeping up slowly slowly it's it's growing the air will be slowly slowly built up and it will operate the alarm if case of severe fault there will a rush of oil uh, from main to uh, tank to conservator tank and it will operate the buckle so here you can see internal diagram of the buckles relay uh, there are two contact you can see very easily this contact this this space uh, is is available for air trap okay for example for example from transformer tank and uh, the oil is coming here and from here it's going to the conservator whenever the bubble will come in this direction bubble will move up and the air will trap here so this uh, uh if uh, uh, gradually the fault will slowly build up gas will be here after a certain point this oil level further will come down this is a float here you can see and if it will make electrical connectivity between these two point alarm will be generated at the other hand if there is for example heavy fault the oil will come with pressure because of heating up in the transformer and it will try to move to the conservator fast so it will hit this uh, float and it will operate the trip immediately advantages and disadvantage of buckle relay buckle relay also don't have all the advantages buckle relay can detect the fault at the early stage and it is simplest form of transformer protection but the drawback is that they can be used only in the oil field transformer another drawback could be the slow operating time 0.1 to 0.2 seconds okay thank you very much this is uh, our uh